National Security Institute founder Jamil Jaffer joins me now. Jamil, good to see you. Uh, let me ask you this. How do we get a peace deal if Russia is not part of this summit? Well, it's a great question, Lauren. This is the million dollar question. This is a plan set out by French President uh, Emmanuel Macron, working with President Zelensky. The idea is to bring China, Brazil, India, some of these countries that are aligned roughly with Russia and try to break them off from the Russian coalition, try to get them to agree to a deal um, and then take that to the Russians. Uh, the key question is, can these countries get on board with the key parts of the Kiev uh, uh, peace plan, which involves the restoration of Ukraine's territorial integrity, which should be a minimum condition uh, for any Ukraine peace deal. And in your view, can they? You know, it's going to be really hard because the Russians don't want to give that up. And these countries are closely aligned with Russia. We'll see if this effort by the French president to divide and conquer is successful. I think it's going to be fraught with challenges. Uh, next one for you, Jamil. Uh, experts are, are warning um, the, the ability to use artificial intelligence to to literally stalk people, to find out everything about them. Uh, oftentimes, just looking at one photo, you can get all this information. How, that's where we're at, right? I mean, AI, it's here. It's been unleashed on humanity. How do we protect ourselves? Well, look, Lauren, I think that the net benefits from AI are going to greatly outweigh the downsides, but that doesn't mean we can't account for the fact that there are very real security concerns. So what we need to think about is what are the technologies and capabilities, one that AI itself can empower, but also we can build on top of and alongside of AI to ensure that it's safe and secure, that we're protecting the privacy and security of Americans. And in particular, these same capabilities that what we're concerned about uh, bad actors uh, using like criminals, we also should be worried about nation states. You look at the amount of data that China collects and has stolen on us, they can use that data to identify Americans as well and identify what we're doing and predict our behavior, our movements. That's hugely problematic. People wonder why TikTok is a problem. This is exactly why. All that data that China's gathering on you through the TikTok app can be combined with other data and really used against you. That's why it's so important for us to invest in and identify good AI security technologies on a going forward basis. Jeez, I always lie, Jamil. I always, you know, when they ask for information, I, I put in the wrong answers. <laughs> change it up so you can't just paint this clear picture of who I am. I don't know if that's helpful, but, but that's, that's what I do. It's good. It's a little bit of, a little bit of uh, defense <laughs> right there in depth. Jamil Jaffer, thank you very much. Now this. Kev